What is mathematics? It's a very good question, and actually I think it's, it's a big mystery. So, for instance, uh, the question that is often asked is uh, whether mathematics is invented or discovered. Um, there is something special about mathematical truth. Um, to, to explain this, let me um, give you the following analogy. So if, um, uh, think of a famous writer, you know, I come from Russia, so let's say Leo Tolstoy. Uh, and think of a novel like uh, Anna Karenina. If, if Leo Tolstoy did not live, or if he had died before he wrote this novel, there is no reason to expect that someone else would have written the same work of literature. But if Pythagoras had not lived, you see, uh, we would still have Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, and in fact, we know that it was discovered around the same time by others in other cultures, and maybe even earlier than Pythagoras. And Pythagoras' theorem is about triangles, and it's an equation, uh, which you may remember from school, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Pythagoras lived 2,500 years ago, and you know, it, it's, it's fascinating that he and us, we have this in common, that we can be sure that to him, this formula, this equation, this theorem, meant exactly the same thing as it does to us today. And it has not changed in all these years. It ha it's not, and it's not going to become, you know, next year a squared plus b squared equals c cubed. No, it's still going to be c squared. There is no reason to believe that it will change. Now, imagine that uh, our physical theories uh, uh, get updated all the time. Theory of gravity, we had Newton's theory of gravity, which looked unassailable. And guess what? 200 years later, Einstein uh, came up with his theory, which in many ways negated Newton's or absorbed, absorbed it, but in a, in a, in a non-trivial way, updated it in a non-trivial way. Mathematical theories don't get updated in this way. They do not get denied by future theories. So that leads many people to believe that actually we are not inventing mathematics. Human beings are not inventing mathematics, but discovering it in some sort of parallel platonic world, platonic universe of pure forms. Now, which, which uh, um, answer is correct? I don't know. I think the jury is still out, um, but um, there is something about mathematics that makes us stop and think, and it suggests that there are things which are which lie beyond our usual understanding, which are perhaps beyond space and time. So yes, in a sense, one could speculate that mathematics exists as a kind of parallel universe, uh, and I really hope that more people will have a chance to to get acquainted with this beautiful mathematical universe.